We are going to have a quick look at for loops in the C programming language today. Let's start off by using our text editor. I'm using Vim as my text editor. And we're going to create a code called code.c. We're going to start off by including our header here. So include stdio.h. And then we'll start our main function, initiate main. And then we'll do squiggly, squiggly bracket, and put our function in between the squiggly brackets. We're going to create a variable. So we're going to create a variable, int space i. i is the name of our variable. You can call it whatever you'd like. And we're going to say i, whoops, i equals 0. Then we'll start our for loop. We'll say for i equals 0, i less than 10, i plus plus. So what we're saying here is i equals 0, which probably don't need this line here. I'll check on that in a minute if we're putting that there now that I think about it. We're saying i equals 0. And then we're saying as long as i is less than 10, do this loop. And in each loop, i plus plus means add 1 to i. So we're going to do that. And we're going to say print f percent d. That's our placeholder for our variable. Then we'll do backslash n, meaning new line. Quotations closed, comma, and then we'll say i. And i is the variable that's going to go in place of percentage d right there. So close our parentheses, semicolon, save it, compile it, g++, the name of our code, and then the name dash o for output and the output that we want to create no errors that's good so let's look at the code before we run it and I'll explain it real quick creating the variable setting the variable saying loop as long as i is less than 10 and each time it loops add 1 to i and each time it loops print out what i equals so we save that let's run our code dot slash code and there we go, we got 0 through 9. Let me check something out here real quick. I'm going to remove that line. I don't think it's needed. Recompile. There we go. So basically, what I did was I had, for some reason, I wanted to uh, say that i equals 0 twice. We're saying i equals 0 here, so we didn't have to do it up there. So it shortened up our code a little bit. Um, we can add a thing here, and we can say i now is so I'm just adding some text to our output here we have to recompile it now so g plus plus code dot c dash o code and we're going to now dot slash run our code and it says i is now i is now i is now all the way down to nine we're starting at zero that's why it stops at nine if we wanted to, we can edit the code. If we wanted to go from 1 to 10, we can 1 through 10, I guess I should say. Uh, say that i equals 1 and change this to 11. Well, that's one way to do it. Let's save that, recompile it, run it again, and now we get 1 through 10. We should also be able to, instead of saying is less than 11, we'll say is equal to or less than 11, I believe. Got an error there, okay. Maybe it's less than or equal to. As I said in the past, I'm not very proficient with C, but I decided to teach it anyway. I figure it'd be a good way for me to learn. There we go. So it's not greater than or equals to, it's, it's I'm sorry, it's not equals to or less than, it's less than or equals to, which makes sense. So we have compiled that, dot slash code, run it, 
And now we have one through 10 again, but in a more, I would say, appropriate way of doing it. So that is four loops in C programming language. And once again, we got our, our header here, our main loop, create the variable in the for loop, set the variable equal to a number, have it loop as long as it's less than or equal to 10, each loop add one to it, and we will print out our information onto the screen for the user to see. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.